supposedly first guest is now um, Dr. Rosa Lange. Um, Dr. Rosa, um, I, was, I was super impressed with you at the um, at the workshop in Tuvalu, uh, which was what was held in 2018. You brought up such a uh, very deep, profound knowledge about indigenous knowledge, comma traditional knowledge. So when it came to this whole format, the first person that I wanted to have on, like would love to have on the show, was was you, uh, Dr. Rosa. Um, so let's jump right into it because I have I know that you have a lot of things to talk about. Um, um, where where is indigenous knowledge, comma traditional knowledge, going right now? Um, what were your first thoughts when you uh, read that question? All right, Auntie Rosa, as, uh, Dr. Rosa, I, I don't think that we can, that we're hearing you. We're trying to fix something. Thank you so much, Vetka, for being so uh, vigilant. Yes, well, and I can see you're back. Okay, um, maybe Svetka, you, 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 can, you can do some magic behind the scenes, uh, maybe a little bit. Um, to to bring on bring in Dr. Rosa, and I'm I'm also very much aware that Dr. Rosa doesn't have a lot of time um, right now. Um, I see, do see Auntie Lilikala um, with us. Um, Auntie, if you're if you're okay, that we bring in a little bit early. Um, you can talk a little bit longer or talk about, talk a bit shorter. Um, uh, we're just trying to fix um, the connection with uh, Dr. Dr. Rosa. I see you not. I, I see you nodding, uh, Auntie. Um, Mahalo, uh, aloha for, for, for being with us. Um, um, a, uh, when it comes to indigenous movement, Pacific indigenous movement, uh, within definitely within the international scene, Auntie Lily Kala is, is one of the persons that you easily gravitate towards, that you recognize as being the, the, uh, of the bedrock, bedrock of the Pacific indigenous movement at the international level. Um, Auntie, aloha um, from, from, from me to you. Um, um, let's jump right into it as well. We have a little bit more time though, so you can explain, explain a little bit more. Um, when it comes to indigenous knowledge, um, what do you see? Uh, wh wh where do you see it going? Well, actually, uh, now that I'm a senior professor and I don't do admin anymore, I've devoted my whole life now to ancestral knowledge, hmm. the specific Polynesian ancestral knowledge. And I sent to you some of the um, uh, flyers that we have for what we're doing. We're doing a weekly webinar every Wednesday night, which is open to the world to see about ancestors. So we look at who are the ancestors that begin the world? Who are the ancestors that, um, uh, let's see, who are the ancestors that uh, tell us how to live? Who are the ancestors that we have? Um, sometimes it's Earth Mother, Sky Father, sometimes it's the ocean. And then what do the stars teach us? And how do we do certain ceremonies by stars? So when the Pleiades are rising, you know, that's um, right between the September equinox and then it's gonna we're gonna come up to the winter solstice. That brings a new kind of rainy weather, the earth becomes renewed, etc. Very important in Polynesia. So we see this happening in different parts of Polynesia. Every Wednesday night we're talking about it. We're about to have our last show for before Christmas. And then we're going to move into uh, January. January 27th, we'll start up our shows again. We're going to finish up all about navigational stars and earth stars. And then we're going to look at temples that were built to measure the sun movement from summer winter solstice to equinox to summer solstice and back because mm -hmm. that tells us how the weather changes. So what are the ancestors' ideas about these things? What kind of food do we plant at any one of those times? You know, and I have, uh, so I have a website, a Zoom that I'm doing, but also I have, um, I have um, a website where you can watch all of those. So if you'd like to, I can talk about those things. I'm sure. offering a course next semester on this as well. And you don't have to be registered to the university. You just let me know that you want to be involved with the course, and I'll put you on uh, my web, and you and you'll get the notices for everything that's happening. We're going to discuss all of the videos I've done since June. Uh, let's see. Last night was number twenty-six video about all ancestral ideas from Hawaii, Tahiti, Aotearoa, New Zealand, Tonga, Samoa, Cook Islands, uh, Marquesas, Rapa Nui. My, and uh, the two motus. 
what I'd like to do after we go through our, our topics, including moon calendar, I want to find out what about my local people. I mean, the new people. <laughs> Right? I want to have you come and talk about your folks' culture. I understand that one of the Indonesian words for Pleiades is um, mataligi. There, there's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So cousin, right? But what about Southeast Asia? Where, you know, that the whole dragon uh, uh, lizard motif is has to do with fresh water. Or what about the Inca people in Peru? The capital of Peru is called Lima, which is the number five in Southeast yeah. Asia, in Indonesia, and all of Polynesia, even in, even in Filipino languages. Okay, so I wanna I wanna expand and start to talk to people. When we're building temples, there's temples all over the world that our ancestors built a thousand, two thousand years ago that measure the movement of the sun. Mm. Is that fun? Those things are fun, right? So. Yeah. Now that I'm old, I don't do politics anymore. I left that for the young people. <laughs> I'm only doing ancestral knowledge. <laughs> so, uh, would you like me to share the, my fly, uh, flyers? Can you make me co-host for a minute? I can share with you. Uh, yeah, you can, you can share a screen. That that is what you can. Um, if it's it's in the bottom of the thing, you can. can meanwhile, screen? yeah. So, so any any takeaways from 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 your from your from your webinars seminars that. Um, yeah, that that are interesting. I clicked on share screen. Can you see my fire? No. Oh, let's see. Try it again. Share screen. Okay. Share. Uh, entire screen. Application window. Okay, try that. <laughs> <laughs> share. <laughs> Uh, maybe not. I'll have, maybe. A, I'll have a pineapple in between. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? That's all right. We just talk about it. Um, and I'll send those things to you, and you can post it on your website if you like to or sure. not. No. To you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it's a time for us to be looking at all of our ancestors as indigenous peoples, because I'm finding old people who are not at university who are learned people in, in one little corner of the world in on an island in Polynesia, know all this stuff. No, they haven't published a book. They're not being talked to by university people. And now we're getting them on video forever so that their knowledge is there forever. And that's mm -hmm. what I want, I want for all of our uh, indigenous peoples to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, one question that comes a lot uh, across, and I would like to hear your, your thoughts a little bit, Auntie, is um, in terms of protecting indigenous knowledge, uh, what are some easy, like entry level things to do uh, that, um, for example, from a non indigenous indigenous side, that want to respect indigenous peoples and indigenous peoples themselves that want to start protecting indigenous knowledge? And any any initial thoughts that you have on the, on that point? I ask all of my presenters to put at the bottom of their slide, they do a PowerPoint. Every slide has says, um, uh, it says uh, uh, copyright by Lili Kala Kome Lehiva 2020 or copyright by uh, Dr. Refiti, uh, uh, you know, 2020. So that mm -hmm. the name and the copyright is on every slide. Now for the non-indigenous who want to be able to refer to this information, Wonderful. What they do is they say, you know, Dr. Kamele, he was said this, Dr. Refiti said that, Dr. Kaili said this. If you want to go look at it, go see it on the on the, the website. You can watch the video yourself and learn from it. That way we're respecting whoever owns it. Now I'm the host, I don't own it. It's the people who are speaking, the source of the knowledge, they own it. Right? That's their intellectual property. And it's for me as the host to respect that and to always say to them, hey, I don't have your copyright on the slide. And you know what? If they send it to me without the copyright, I put it in myself. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a copyright. But I think uh, that's one way that we can share our knowledge with the world. Some people say, oh, no, we don't want to tell anybody. No, no, no. We don't want to tell anybody about that. Uh, it only belongs to our people. Okay, that's your choice. You know, some people mm -hmm. want you. But for me, 
I think our ancestors have something to teach us and the rest of the world. Now, after we go through all those ancestors, who the ancestors are, what are those stories about stars and temples, what about the earth and you know how we make take care of the water and that kind of thing, then we're going to move into how do we live sustainably for the next 40 years with global warming. Mm. We're going to go back to the same guys who are talking, who are really learning from their place, and ask them those kind of questions. So we're going to segue into taking care of the land and what food that we will all um, um, need to grow. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you cannot grow food from a grocery store necessarily in, your, in the yard. So what are the foods that our ancestors ate and what should we be growing and eating too? How do we take care of fresh water? On oh, we have a, a, a drought at the moment. Not enough water. They're telling us the, to, to, to don't run the water, to flush it. Don't flush the toilet too often. We don't have enough water. How are we going to have 10 million tourists a year come to Oahu? We cannot. Mm -hmm. So we have to change the way we do the world. In fact, I'm, a, I'm arguing that we should um, legalize marijuana and grow it as a medicinal crop and save the world from pain. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but how do we reserve the fresh water? And that's something we really need to talk about on small islands. And then the ocean. How do we make sure there's not plastic in the ocean or mercury in the ocean? Or can we really eat the fish anymore? Every little place, you know, from Tahiti to Aotearoa to Tonga to Samoa to Rapa Nui to Marquesas, everybody has an idea about these things. And what's good for us, it's good for everybody. It's good mm. for everybody. Now, I know you have some experts coming on from Hawaii. Dr. Yep. Amil Hiba, she's an expert. Fabulous. She runs a, a prayer session every mo mo morning from Monday to Friday uh, on prayers for healing and how to protect us from the pandemic. Really fabulous. And uh -huh. then um, Dr. Kamala Mella, who helps yep. with Dr. Nuhiva. Hiba. She has a whole plan about how we reforest our islands so that we preserve water. You know, ancestral knowledge... It's fun. It's where it's at. So mm. uh, I think I think it's a really, really good time for us to be thinking about these things and figure out how we do it. Now, you know, uh, in two minutes, I have a class starting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's on, it's no, actually on uh, Hawaiian genealogy. We go through the 100 generations of Hawaiian chiefs before Cook arrived mm -hmm. and talk about all the stories on the different islands, etc. Again, I put out to all indigenous peoples. Can you write that down? Can you figure it out? Would you like to come into the class? Let me know. Lilikala at hawaii.edu. Okay, Lilikala at hawaii.edu. My first name at hawaii.edu without the, uh, any markings. And I'd be glad to talk with you and let you know more. And I love what you've done. And happy birthday. How are you now? Thank you so much. <laughs> I know your mother is looking down at you and very proud for all the good work that you do. And I want to send a shout out to Pelpina because I love her. I've always loved her. And um, I can't wait for you to come to Hawaii again. Can I cannot time. wait, Auntie. I cannot wait to, uh, to come back. Hopefully, when this whole COVID-19 goes over, um, I, can, I can go back soon to, to, to Hawaii and um, go to, uh, yeah, the usual places. Uh, Kanikapila Grill so it sounds, <laughs> sounds good. Right, right, right. Around, 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 right around this time. <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, so I love you guys, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop off to go and see my students. But any last question? Um, no, no, thank you. You, we're so, you so, so um, yeah, you unpacked everything. So uh, um, <laughs> definitely we'll, we'll put, put it, we'll put in the, the links to, to your seminars and flies in, into, the, in, into the show notes and everything else so people know about um, the seminars that they're hosting as well. Auntie, um, uh, mahalo, mahalo nui for, for everything that you're doing and for, for, for being on the show. And hopefully uh, we'll, we can catch up soon. Okay. Love you. Bye. Love all of you. I'm never retiring, so we're going to be doing this for the next 20 years. Aloha. I'm <laughs> uh, looking forward to it. Aloha. Aloha.